What's up guys, it's your boy Big here, back at it again with another PvP video for Guild Wars 2. And I'm playing, of course, my main class, a Mesmer, more specifically, a Mirage, because they're hella fun. Um, so today I'm going to do something a little bit different, I'm going to talk about a little bit about pretty much what it is that I'm doing and what I'm running, and kind of just going through like my thought process with PvP, so you guys kind of get an idea of where I stand. Um, so pretty much, you guys can let me know in the comments below um, what do you guys think about like my decisions in terms of skills and weapon choices, things like that. Pretty much, I just picked the stuff that works for me. I know it's not conventional, um, so we'll just get right into that. So hit him with the. Uh. So, pretty much, just to let you guys know, I'm running a power mod. Hold on to your points. Seize theirs. So, I was advised, I spoke to someone. An enemy ship people. is pulling into the harbor. Okay. It's the Capricorn. All right. So, I was advised of, you know, a... Of a good, of a, of a good um, build in terms of where to go if I'm going to be... And like a power move. They've taken the bazaar from move. you. Because they pretty much said the dock's been captured. You wouldn't. I was using a, a pass your enemy and... took the archway. Okay, that's okay. You can get that way. Fuck me. No, die. So pretty much, I was using an axe and a torch because I was advised those were my best options. Um, pretty much, that's kind of still what I'm using, um, and I was using a great sword because power options those seem like the most. You lost ones. the dock. Um, honestly, so that's kind of what I've been what I went with. Um, they said that I should use a sword instead of an axe because axe is more for a condi build. And honestly, that's not really what I wanted to do. Um, I wanted to... I didn't want to do condition damage because... I don't know, I feel like a lot of the classes You've that... You've taken play, the archway! Yeah, it's kind of like, hey, do a condi build. Do a condi build. Do condi. And I don't want to do that. You know, I want to The dock's be, been captured! I want to be who I want to be. And one of the things that I enjoy... Um about this class is the axe itself because the axe is mad fun it's great for a clone generation um it has a teleport that kind of help confuse people it's super great i enjoy it and so that's what and i ended up so i tried So I tried, you know, oh shit, be ready to give the signal and return fire once the cannons hey. are loaded. The bazaar is yours. Yeah. Fuck, I tried to teleport away. Damn it. Yay. So yeah, so I ended up switching, I tried the sword, I didn't, it didn't really work for me, maybe because I'm not used to playing with the sword, and it just didn't work, but Cannons loaded. Ring just, the bell to signal them to fire! Oh, someone's behind me. Red team, ring the bell! Fire all cannons! So pretty much what I try to do the dock's when been I run, captured. Um, um, 
So generally what I try to do is that I'll try uh, Oh my gosh. Stupid scorches. I hate them so much. I tried to stun him at all. They've taken the bazaar from you! Have they? Oh, the bazaar is that is the right one. I'm sorry, that's not even ours. I don't care. So generally what I try to do is I use my great sword for long range damage because it's good for power burst. And then I try to use um and then whenever I need to get close combat, like single someone out, what I'll try to do is I'll use my axe and my torch. The torch has uh, a bit of stealth on it. I was trying to think of the word. There's a bit of stealth on it, so that's good. Um, in terms, so that's kind of like why I stick with that. It has like burning damage, so that helps. Even though I'm not running Um one of the other things that I like as well is that the um. There's a burst of damage with the axe, even though it builds conditions when you use it. It also, you have the phantasmal axes, which do a lot of damage when you have those running. You have a lot of clones, and especially if you have the trait slotted, that whenever you gain Mirage Cloak, you also your clones also get it, because then they're also setting off a bunch of phantasmal axes as well. So that's kind of one of the main reasons why I enjoy it, because yes, there is ambush skills for like pretty much every weapon, but the Phantasmal Axes, in particular, are my favorite, mostly because of the fact that they you can spawn so many, and they can get to a point where you have like up to three, and then like you're all your Be ready to give the signal and, and return like, fire once the cannons are loaded. Like flying all over the place. So that's kind of my main idea of why the bazaar is yours to go with. Um, uh, what's going on here? Yeah, that's the main reason why I decided to go with um, an axe instead of the sword, because the sword, it just wasn't working for me. Oh, I think their team gave up, because I don't see anybody. They're just sitting there. They're not even trying. I think they've loaded. given up. Ring the bell to signal them to fire! Honestly. So yeah, so that's my idea. In terms of slot skills, I have um, the mantra of distraction so that I can have days. Um, I have my blink because obviously utility. Um, I also just thought I'd come over here and smack him real quick. Um, I also have um, illusionary ambush, which I like because it teleports you around the around the character or your enemy, or whoever you have selected. Teleport to you in a random spot around them, and also teleport your clones around them as well, and do some Mirage Cloak, which is a good way to gain a Mirage Cloak. Um, and then also... Red team, have ring the bell! Your, Fire all cannons! Oh, yay. I got top player revives. Your team is victorious. Kills. I got top player kills? Hey, turn up. Uh oh get like me. My 12 kills. Do-do-do-do-do. Kid like me. So yeah, and then my fun, my um ult, my ultimate, my elite skill is like that is jaunt, which is a pretty much a teleport and does a positive fusion. So with all of those coupled together, that's kind of the general idea of what I try to go for. So yeah, so we're gonna so I'm gonna walk you guys through that's pretty much my build, what I have so far, um the idea of what I'm using. So then we're gonna walk through a couple of the next match, pretty much showing you how I try to string those together. Alright, so generally, You've what I try to do is when I need to stay, when I need to stay distant, I'll have my great sword and I'll lay down some pressure just for my Um, what I will then try to do is, especially if they be together, using, um, Mind Stab will definitely help me with it. And then I'll, if they get close, I can use some of them away with Illusionary Wave. Uh, so that has a bit of an effect on it, so that's what I'll try to do, and, and I'll try to do that generally as long as I'm at a distance, um, and I'm not, they didn't pretty much try to close the gap in one-on-one, -on -one. So if I need to try to hit more than one person, um, what I'll try to do is I will try to activate my Mirage Cloak, so that way I can get the, um, the ambush skill, so that way I can hit multiple enemies. Um, but then, like, them, okay, let's see that. Oh, 
Wrong, wrong move. There we go. They're just kind of zoning us right now, so they're, they're in space with the fudge muffins. How the hell did that happen? Fuck you guys. Go away. But yeah, so then what I'll do is I will uh, usually try to um, set this up with the bunch of distraction, because generally you can kind of set it up and then have, the, have it just chill. And then I'll use it, you get two charges of it. So that's always the plan. Um, are we losing that? We have that. Okay. Um. You've lost the quarry. You lost the, the waterfall. How the fuck you get back up? Okay, that didn't work out too well. No, I'm just sure. Um, so blink is really good because it helps save you. Helps close gaps, and then it also helps you retreat if you need to. So that's probably like the best thing about it. Um, Illusionary ambush is really good because, like I mentioned before, um, I like to try to use that whenever I'm. I like to use that whenever I'm like one v one ing someone, um, because then what will happen is that I can then right. Like, everything, we are trying to kill them and they just won't die, it's just yeah. Um, but what I like to do with, uh, essentially, with uh, Illusionary of Ambush is generally I will try to, it's good if you have multiple, um... Your base is under attack! The base? Word. The waterfall is yours. If we have multiple, like, clones, though, um, that's what Illusionary Ambush Your is Your really base good. is under attack! Illusionary Ambush is really good because at that point you're able to um, have multiple clones, they pop up around, they'll all sp use their, have their Mirage Cloak and then they'll kind of all just kind of bust out some like really bursty damage. Um, so that's really good. Um, so I enjoy that and that's really fun. I also like to do that with um, my axe as well because then you get all those fat, you get all those fantastic axes. Your Lord is under attack! And, oh, they killed it. Oh, they're type 500, whatever. Have top player kills. Stuff for some strange reason. That explains it. So yeah, so that's pretty much what I, what I usually try to do. Um, that's kind of how I try to engage, um, and then kind of go from there. So pretty much that's the that's what I wanted to go over with you guys today. Um, I probably might try to do something like that with other classes if I try to play them. The only other class really that I PvP with would be the, um, the I can't think of the name, the Engineer. Um, because I like the Hollowsmith, so that's really interesting, but I haven't really had a lot of practice with them. So I kind of want to play them a little bit, get a little bit of practice, kind of figure out a build and things like that and kind of see what's more comfortable for me. And then I'll probably do a video, I'll do a couple of videos of me playing it and then I'll kind of go into a video of me explaining what it is that I'm actually doing and why I chose the skills that I chose. So that's, so that's probably kind of how I'm going to try to balance it out. I'm going to go ahead and talk, pretty much show you, hey, here's what I'm doing, here's the classes that I play, and then watch you, you can watch me lose and win sometimes. <laughs> and uh, then from there, what I'll do is I'll go and do an explanation video similar to this, where I talk about the skills that I'm using, what build that am I, am I going for, um, and then why I chose whatever skills and and whatnot, so that maybe you guys can be able to find um, an idea, but also you guys can also tell me if I'm doing something completely stupid and something would work better. Um, so yeah, because like the mantra of, I can't never remember the name, distraction, that's the one. One so I can get a daze, I never really used it before, I was using something else, like the, the one that brings shards, or whatever. The one that makes a, a mirage mirror, um, where it's just at a, at a point. So I had used that before, and that 
really didn't help at all. So now that I have this, this helps way better because I can daze them and they stop moving so I can kill them. Um, so stuff like that. So if you guys notice anything that I can help improve on um, that you guys may want to see, we can do that. If you guys want me to go into my traits so you can see what traits I'm using, definitely let me know. I can go ahead and go into that in the comments below. Um, and then if, any, if you guys have any particular suggestions of a class you maybe want me to go into or you want me to try out or you guys think I should try, let me know, of course. Um, so make sure you guys like the video and then also share it to other people so that they can see it. And don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell so you know when I'm posting because you get a notification that says, hey, bitch, you posted. Um, it doesn't really say that. I'm still trying to figure out how to get it to say that um, so that way it can be hella funny. But as of right now, it just says, hey, you posted. So yeah, so other than that guys, we're all done, Mick out.